It's Thursday, it's 7.30, it's Newcastle, it's Gilbert! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, love it! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Love it, love you, love you. Welcome to another fun-filled half an hour of Gilbert's Light. And uh, coming out of the celebrity cupboard tonight, we've got an alternative Australian who's a designer called Lee Bowery. And we have, well, here we go with a bit of alliteration here, we have a lady with the legendary luncheon vouchers, Madam Cynthia Payne. But first, a singer who was born... Oh, no, a singer who was born plain old Barbara Cook, and there's nothing wrong with that name, and she's from Camberwell. Now, she's actually sort of metamorphosized, you could say, into the disco diva who, as far as the Russians are concerned, are top of the popski, really, you could say. Please welcome Sadie Nine. <laughs> yes. What can I say? Well, what can we say, Sadie, you love me. Darling, showbiz glit the right eye as we are. <laughs> Whatever and, uh, that means. Anyway, Sadie Nine, the name, I love it. Where'd you get it from? Uh, it's brilliant, actually. The Beatles, you know, the White Album of the I, Beatles. I know well, I the love Beatles. The, the Sexy Sadie. <laughs> sexy Sadie, I don't think I wrote that one. Starts did me I? off, don't you think? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, the number off. nine dream, so I nick the Sadie and the nine. So Sadie Nine's better than Barbara Cook. Number nine? Anything's number better nine. than Barbara Cook, be honest about well, it. Well, no. What a name. No. Nothing yes. wrong with that. You could have called yourself Sadie Yellow Submarine. <laughs> or Sadie Elter Skelter or Sadie Help or something like that. But you chose Sadie Nine. Sadie Nine. And why not? So there you have it. Still be that as it may. And there now, we have it. <laughs> th this cosy you've got on, I love it. I love the gear. Is that casual day Do wear? Like it? This is this is my normal gear. Very I go through, nice. Give, I go to my it. supermarket in this, Gilbert. I bet, I bet that goes down a wow in Hoddesdon, doesn't it? it it's, it's wonderful, actually, yeah. I just <laughs> well, blend into the crowd. Yeah, I just got a big laugh when I said Hoddesdon. <laughs> I've got another one. Do you hear that? It works wonders, that. This is where that's I in, come from. That's in Hertfordshire, for those yes. of you who don't know, and it's near sort of... Well, somewhere else in Hertfordshire, isn't it? <laughs> Stevenage. And well, so somewhere. he should as well. So yeah. he should. Anyway, <laughs> apparently... Now, I'm not, going, I'm not being rude. I'm not being rude here, but you're massive in Russia. Aren't you? <laughs> Come on, tell us. You've got to tell us. I know I'm, people. I'm massive all over at the moment, but you shouldn't be rude, you know. Oh, no, <laughs> no <it's>... matron. No. <laughs> Listen, no, you are big in Russia. No, come on. No, it's... <laughs> How did, how did that come about? How did that come about? Well, I went over there and I was in the Baltic Song Festival and the Soap Pop Music Festival and I, yeah. I won them both, which was amazing to me. But I didn't realise they'd be in line only slightly more viewing figures than this to 600 million, million homes. A lot of people. There's a lot of homes. There's a lot of people in there. That's so, about um, half as many as I've got. Well, but never <laughs> mind. No, <laughs> if you won it. You won it. You, did you yeah. not expect to win it then? No, I didn't actually. No, it was the first time that an English artist had been invited to be in the Baltic Song Festival. And I <laughs> over there to have a look around to have a laugh and that and to win it was just um, amazing I mean and to be performing I was performing in front of like 25,000 people live you know I mean, it gives you a buzz doesn't it that that wow, kind of cape, it's doesn't it? amazing. They're good people, amazing. the Russians, are they? Good people, yeah, aren't they? Very really, friendly. They're really friendly. They'd love you, Gilbert. I know. I but know. then who, who doesn't? Oh, <laughs> shut me, shut. Do shut me, say to come on. It's just, honestly. <laughs> no. You know, you're everything I'd look for in a man, you oh, know. No, ears to listen make... to me and no, that Mohican no, haircut, and it's too much, don't you no, think, girls? Make me I mean, go this is. No, don't. It's just a man in the 90s. Is it a man? I mean. Oh, no, 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 well, it's probably how you cope with your success. You know, I have to wear the dark glasses. I notice it really hides you, you know, the dark glasses. It oh, I just a... changes you immediately. Well, I <laughs> don't know what success is, fortunately, so I will be, therefore, totally unaffected by it all if and when it comes. If and when it comes, yes, is it? Keep well, your then... feet or whatever they are firmly well, on the ground. Any, yeah, I right, have no yeah. feet or any tackle or anything <laughs> like that. Oi, 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 it's in your own time, in your own time. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Swimmingly well it's going. Yeah. Swimmingly well. Now, the Russians, right, the Eastern Bloc, their pop yeah. stars are sort of... 
I don't know from what, it's maybe what we get over here, but they seem to be in a bit of a time warp. They, they maybe look as though they should be in smoky or in mud. Yeah, or, they're or slightly like behind the time. They're very, a lot of rock people over there. And the girls are either like Tina Turner or, <laughs> or they're singing like with candles, you know. I mean, they're, they're, it's incredible. But it's all happened for me over there and yet nothing over here. I mean, this is my break, Gilbert. I mean, hopefully well, a record well, company will we, look in and snap us up. You know? We would like to actually hear some of your stuff, but oh, we yeah. can't because it's in Russia. But I would like you live just to give us a little warble of your latest single, which I think is called May to suffer, Made to suffer. Just a quick war. We're very embarrassing for you. We're on, meant to suffer. You. Suffer. You. We're meant to dream about a day that never comes. <laughs> We're meant to suffer. Oh, now, now then, now then. Please. Now then, oh, thank you very much. That was very good indeed, you see. Oh, now then. Oh, and guys this man and girls. knows. This man knows. Knows? Don't this, you talk about it. No. Oh, sorry, you weren't getting personal no. there. No, I'm sorry. It's wonderful. it's wonderful. Do you flip backwards and forwards to Russia and stuff like that? I do. I, I'm yeah? actually off on February the 20th. I'm over there again and touring. And I've just been told that they want me to do um, my own TV show in Poland in February as well. And then in March, I do my own TV show in East Germany. So, oh, Gilbert, well, please busy. come over there with me. I tell you what, Be no, I'd love show. to. I'd love to. I wish it's a vast country to cover that, in it, really. Yeah. In an afternoon, you know what I mean? In an afternoon. <laughs> but, you know, get around, get by in the shops. Thanks very much, Sadie oh, Nine, for coming on. What Cheers. can I say? Thank Thanks you. a lot. Cheers. Thank Good you. luck to you. Bye Thank bye. You. Sadie Nine. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, now then. Now then, now then, moving swiftly on, moving swiftly on, uh, Popsters. Here we go with some uh, tinkling sounds from a band that's creating a little bit of a buzz around the music scene at the moment, which is uh, quite appropriate, really, because they're called Queen Bee. And uh, they're going to give us a blast of their latest single, Red Hot Top Shot, Queen Bee. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah, what about that, eh? Queen Bee, Queen Bee, Eric. Well, Eric Clapper, meet your Stratocaster. That was terrific, wasn't it, that? Right, we're going to be coming back after the break with Cynthia Payne and Lee Bowery, so it's going to be tremendously avant-garde, isn't it? So make sure you're there, won't you? Be there. Hello? Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah, it, it's Mick Jagger here. Who's that? It's Cynthia Payne. Oh, hello, Sin. How's it going? Here, here, listen. I met a gentle barroom queen in Stratham. Now, here, listen, Sin, Sin. If you see that old tie rag, Gilbert, tell him he owes me a tenner, all right? OK. Yeah, listen, I've got to go now. Bye! Bye! Oh, what's all that about it? What's he going said, on? He, he, said, he said he you owe him a tenner. Who was it, Jagger? Yeah. He's a slimy old what's it? <laughs> anyway, no, no, Cynthia Payne, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. It's Cynthia. <laughs> Lest we not forget. Well, now then. Now, our uh, delight. It is a delight to have you on the show, Cynthia. Nice one that you could make. What do you, what, it makes a change. What do you, are you tidying up? you tidying up already round here, are you? Well, it, it does look a bit of a mess, doesn't it? Now, as we all know, there's been two films made about your life. Not everybody gets that opportunity. What's it like having your life laid bed? <laughs> good, you mean? What? Good, you mean? No, what was it good? I mean, having your life laid bare to everybody so they well, could see Well, oh, bare? I thought yeah. you said bad. So did I. I uh, thought um, I said that as well. No, uh, <laughs> I said bare. Uh, bare, well, um, it doesn't worry me very much. I've been an open person all my life, so uh, it's... One uh, of your finer qualities, actually, that, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, stop. No, don't take the... I meant that in the best possible way. Now, listen, now you're, you're not a very private person, I take it, then. No, as I said, I've been open all my life, so it doesn't worry me in the slightest. Now, I understand here, this is an interesting thing, you were going to open your house to American tourists, were you not? Well, you know, it did go through my mind that uh, if the film is successful in America, that I could uh, do coach tours, you know, and <laughs> take them all around the house, where the <laughs> bashed bedroom door is, which was broken by the police. And Have you fixed it? I've never fixed it. No, people say, don't fix it. That is, you know, that goes with the house. Now. Absolutely, you shouldn't as it goes. Mm. You shouldn't, no. Uh, but I understand you've even dabbled, uh, dabbled, or oh, you've dabbled, that's a new dance craze, we won't go into that, but you've dabbled in politics. Do you still harbour ambitions? I don't there? dabble in it. I mean, I'm quite serious about that. I, I think our sex laws are 250 years old. And the rest, and the rest, and, yeah. And uh, we're very oppressed sexually, and I think it's about time that Britain has a change and uh, I, I, to... I'll tell you what, I'll drink to that. because To decriminalise think... prostitution and make brothels legalised in this country. Like it is in Amsterdam, where it's yeah. all clean above board. And more women MPs in Parliament. There's only 40 yeah. women MPs and 600 of you males. So, hey, hang on. I'm not a male nor a woman. It just happens my voice happens to be slightly lower, really, than it should be. But I haven't got any tackle, as I explained to my first guest. <laughs> oh, they're a cheap lot up there tonight. You know, any mention of tackle, it's... <laughs> matron, chop it all off. <laughs> no, do, I know. Do you anyway. know what? You'd be, you, <laughs> you would be considered a kink in my house. A kink? Yeah. Would I? I'm so tired. <laughs> tired of waiting. That was a kink song. Now listen, <laughs> anyway. But now, you, people like yourself, you know, and I love it, I think it's great. And Quint and Crisp, I mean, notorious in a mm. way, right? Because of us, the, well, the British, I say us British, I'm not British, I'm from the Andromeda Galaxy. But the, but the, the British people, they sweep it under their carpet, they're so tight-lipped and everything. But what is it about the British which, which makes them take to sort of naughty rogues and roguesses like yourself? What, what makes them take them to their heart, really, in truth? I, I think when the last of Victorians die off, I think England would be much better. Yeah. I think it's, and I think because we're an island, we're insular. I think, and once the Channel Tunnel starts, I oh. think, you know, we're changed. But I think it'd be another 40, 50 years yet. Yeah, you are a national figure, really, aren't you? Well, that's what they say, but I don't feel it yet. It is just yeah. is so beautifully ordinary, which is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, I love, and I mean that in the best yeah. possible way. I don't want any big laughs from the audience at that point. No, good, fine. Anyway, <laughs> oh, let's start it again. Oh, I love it. I love it. No, but um, uh, what do you think, the, the, this thing about the British, as you were saying, 250-year-old laws, I think even further back than that, we are an island. Is there any hope, Sin? Are we going to change radically? No, it'd be a slow process, I think, because there's not much votes in it for the MPs. But no. of course, uh, now with the AIDS business coming into, uh, uh, well, you know, I think people now, especially the women of this country, I think they're wanting now 
brothels to be uh, legalised. Well, I think it's got to be controlled now. So, because as far as the, the, the establishment is concerned, it doesn't exist, does it? Uh, prostitution and all that sort of thing. And it's, uh, but it's been there for hundreds of years, hasn't it? Hundreds of years. And, and if it is kept... And you men are not going to tie a knot in it. Hang sure. on, <laughs> hang on. Present company accepted. I am not one of them. Well, I'm neither, really. I'm no, you don't actually... look it. No, no, I'm a bit like Cliff. <laughs> Oi, oh, slap myself for that one. Bit of a naughty gag, that one. Shouldn't have got that one in. Anyway, do you see yourself retiring gracefully into old age sin? No, I feel myself retiring disgracefully. <laughs> well, that's the sort of answer I would have expected from you now. I'll tell no, you what, when you, when you get, give my love to Streatham Common when you get back. Cynthia Payne, it's been a joy yes, to have you on the show. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cynthia Payne. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. Stay with us, Sin. Yeah, I'm going to get on the seat. I'll get on the other seat, whatever. Yeah. That's it, lovely. Nice one, nice one. So don't move just yet. Don't go just yet. Uh, now, next guest. Now then, I don't think he would be totally out of place at one of your soirees, actually. He's the only member of the Australian population who hasn't been in Neighbours or, or on Home and Away. Don't have a recording contract with Pete Waterman. Here he is, Lee Bowery. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lee. Lee, my son. Hello, mate. Hello. Oh. Well, nice one. Nice. Thanks for coming on, mate. Well, my yeah. pleasure. That is a... Uh, what's, what's, what's the problem? These people in the audience have got a problem. I don't quite <laughs> know what it is, my son. Anyway, now, let's face it. Uh, let's face reality. Those shoes. Yeah. Where did you get them from? Oh, no, no, no. Anyway, no, it, I mean, you wouldn't say it was the most conventional attire, would you, this, Lee? H how would you describe it? Well, um... I'm wearing some silver sequin shoes, yeah. a gold bustier, some gold glitter on my hands, and a... A bustier? Yeah, this is, um... Is that know, a strapless bust... affair. You, you, wait, you wait for one for hours and you always get three at once coming <laughs> on, don't you? <laughs> well, I you know. get two with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, um, getting risky. Actually, we can't show the back, unfortunately, Lee. No. Because uh, it's a family show for some reason. I we can't see. show it. Which well, I'm... you seem to get away with murder. Oh, I d oh no. It wasn't murder. I never had the gun nor nothing, <laughs> I'll be honest. Don't you talk to me about that. And look, Lee, this is, this is a good question. Why do you dress like that statement? Well, I enjoy ex exploring different ways of expressing myself. And I settled on sort of clothing and makeup and so on some time ago. Yes. And um, I've just been trying you... out different ideas. Rather than, say, do a painting on canvas or sculpting with clay, I put all these ideas onto myself. Well, in fact, talking of that, you are, you are an art piece, because I understand that you, you've, you've stood in a London gallery once. You were commissioned to do this. Stand in a London gallery um, for two hours once while people <laughs> gawped at you. Is this right? Well, I guess that I approach the, the things I do with the same intention as an artist and so I was offered to have this space in a gallery and they said we'll do whatever you want oh, there. Isn't great? So I found it appropriate just to sort of stand <laughs> around and pose and... Where was it? It was in London wasn't it? That's correct, yes. I, it wouldn't have been in Basingstoke would it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Basingstoke. But I mean all this, this tired image, this Australian male macho image, I mean Clive James, I mean just look at his head. Yeah. I mean he is macho <laughs> isn't he? He's really butch. I don't think we could argue with that. No I don't think so but I mean is that, is that why you came to to is that the, the bottom line? Is that why you come, came to England, basically, because of their no, attitude? Well, I came to England because I was actually very enthused by the punk movement and the way that yeah. clothing was so expressive and it was about sort of identity and it was subversive and rebellious and all of those things. And I didn't realise until then that you could say those things through clothing. And so that's what drew me initially to London. And since then, I've sort of developed my style here. What, uh, what, what, what do Australians actually think of you? Do you know? Well, I don't know, because I've been living here for the last 10 years or something. And I, I went back very briefly, mainly to, um, to visit my family. Um, mm. So occasionally, sort of little articles appear in the Australian press. Oh. I'm not really there to check what response they gather. Oh, well, we got, we've actually got some pictures of uh, some of your creations oh, yes. here, actually. In fact, we can have one. Oh, lovely. I'm, I'm what is I this one? What is this one? Can you, can you <laughs> can't see? Uh, no, well, well I can see, but I can't see a monitor. You can't see the monitor? Well, oh. you're sort of. Uh, oh. you got your... Perhaps you could describe it. Yes, it's. Can you see? You've it? got What's sort of. Uh, it's. It's fluffy at the bottom there, and you've I got see. a sort of. Uh, oh, you're well, painted at the top anything. of your head. Your face is on view completely here, Lee. You're rouged up. That's a nice change. And yeah, you've got your sort of arms folded in front of you with your, your hands splayed out. It looks right. absolutely beautiful. I must oh, say. Good. It's nice <laughs> to see your boat race as well. Then we have <laughs> another is... one. Can we? Are we going to oh, look at another we? one here? Oh, ah, a cleavage shot here. Oh, good. A well, cleavage shot, Lee. It's one of my specialities, so... I must, I must say, it does look extremely glamorous. Oh. You look like you've had a, a bit of a scrap, though. 
Yeah, much like you've had <laughs> oh, a bit of a It was all drips. That was wax all dripping down my head. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice. Listen, isn't um, it wax? A bit of wax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat a bit of wax. That's what I always say. That's what my mother used to say. If only I had one. A mother, that is. Now, oh, let's have a look at the other one. We've got another one here, Lee. Oh, now, that's, you are. Now, that is you with... The, it looks very much like little um, Eric Morecambe, actually. Oh, Because you've got the glasses on. You've got several pairs of glasses. Oh, right. very I remember that. Very, it's, it looks extremely abstract, this one. Well, I, see. I mean, what well, isn't? But, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you get the sort of idea that, I mean, from, from those three, I mean, the sort of things that I dabble do you, in. Do you, ever, do, you, do you ever want to dress normal, inverted commas? Yes, I do. I sort of do my shopping. I try to sort of be <laughs> as regular as possible because walking around like this does gather quite a lot of attention. Yeah. And <laughs> well, yeah. So to yeah. make things simple for myself, sometimes I do just, you know, wear... Well, of course you do, clothes. and then you get the, thereby getting the contrast as well. You have to have this, of course. I and I understand so. you're a mate of George's as well, are you, boy George? Um, yes, I've worked with George in the past, done some clothes for him and... Well, if you see him, discos. tell him he's looking for a slap, will you? Because he why? tried to strangle me when I saw him last. Oh. I don't know why. I think <laughs> I annoyed him for some reason. I can't understand why that is. <laughs> But anyway, Lee, it's been good. It's been great having you on the show, oh, Lee and Sid. Thanks very much indeed, Thank Lee you. Bowery, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. Yeah. That was splendid. Well, oh, I'm overcome now. Verily, I'm overcome. That's another show up the old Swanee and out the window, as they say. Swimmingly well, I thought. I'd like to thank my guests, Lee Bowery, Cynthia Payne, Queen Bee, and of course Sadie Nine. And I, all that remains for me to say is. Dos vidania, which is good night in Russian, you fish. See you next week. Goodbye.